everyone, I'm Allie with Potomac Beads. Join me in making this solar star necklace. Remember, you can do this with any sort of 25 millimeter cabochon. It doesn't need to be solar and planets and stars. So you can kind of have fun, make it your own. If you do need any of the materials to join me in making this, remember you can check us out at potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eu. So to start out, I have a couple of the planets done and I have Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus done here. And what I'm doing is a variety of Toho 11 O's in different colors because I'm trying to get it fun and creative and keeping that kind of cosmic dark color. The 15 O's I'm doing all the same. I'm doing the black hematite, which is a Mayuki seed bead in the check coating. So we have Toho 11's and Mayuki 15's. After doing these three here, you can kind of see the pattern. It's that simple netting to the front and to the back. It's the exact same pattern until we get to what actually holds the cab in place. You want on, and I decided I'm gonna do uh, Earth, Planet Earth for this one here. So we'll do Planet Earth together to get to the actual wrapping and the number. On my needle and thread, I have 0 .006 wildfire beading thread in the green color since I'm working with green beads, and I have a size 12 beading needle that this thread is on. I have 54 11 O's that I have put on and counted on, and I have a little stop bead at the end. I'm gonna make this into a rounded loop, and I can push the 11 O's off to the side since 15s are gonna be the majority next. To make it into that rounded loop to go around Earth, we are going to go through the first five or so 11 OC beads, starting from that stop bead and progressing away from it. This is gonna bring this into a rounded circle. From now on, what we're gonna do is count off the 11 O's in a pattern of six beads. Uh, what we're gonna do is we are going to every six beads, bring out our thread and needle, and we're gonna basically go back through and make little butterfly wings. We are gonna use four of our 15 O's, then one of our 11 O color, four 15 O's, and so back up through those six beads. So dumping out my 15s here in that hematite color, I'm going to go ahead and add in, or sew through six beads, sorry. So we're through six right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring my thread and needle out. Add in four 15s. One of your 11 O, and I'm using that same green color, four 15s. You're gonna sew back through those same six 11s in the green color, going from the base of those six to the top where your thread was coming out of originally. That puts those six right there along the edge. Or I'm sorry, those nine beads right along the edge. Do this one more time on that same set of six. So you're going in and doing four of your 15s, one 11, four 15s, back through those six seed beads and out. This is gonna put two groupings of those nine beads through those six. I'm gonna give a nice little tight pull to and make sure I don't see a lot of extra thread showing. Eventually these will get pulled to the back and the front of the cabochon. Now what I'm gonna do is pick another six beads in that bright green color, sew through those six beads along the base and repeat this. All together, you're gonna have repeated this nine times. So you will have made, after that, nine of these little kind of butterfly wings, both to the front and the back, every six beads. After sewing through those six, adding on the nine beads, sewing back through those six, which adds one side, and then again, another grouping of your nine seed beads, four 15s, one 11, then four 15s. So I'm gonna continue this and get in all of these little wings, which is gonna be the netting to the front and to the back of the cab along that whole base of 54 11 OC beads. So as I finish up my last little uh, section here and kind of have my last little butterfly wing that I'm creating, I wanted to show you where we go from here. So I have my last one going back through then those six seed beads, just as if I was getting ready to add the next. And remember, you should end up with nine of those segments. I am going to sew back through 
the first four 15s that I just put on on this last little wing and come out after the 11 O. We're gonna start with the back. So I have these all flipped over to the back so you can see. In between each one of the 11 O seed beads here, coming out of them, we're gonna add an 11, 15, 11. Into the next 11, 11, 15, 11. This is going to be the back. The spacing for the front is a little bit different. So I'm coming out that 11 O on my first wing. So 11, 15, 11. Switch over to the next ring ring or that little wing, whichever one kind of pops towards the side that you're working on. And there you go. Again, super simple, 11, 15, 11. Again, we're gonna repeat this nine times because we have nine of these little sections into the next 11 L. This is going to basically establish a front and a back, bringing some of those black wings to the back. And then we're gonna pull some towards the front as we go through and do the front. So you're gonna work your way around the whole planetary ring here, adding in those 11s with the 15 in between each of one of those wings, picking up the 11 that sits in the middle. So the last one here that I'm getting ready to stitch and connect, and then we're gonna flip over to the front. So I have my last one here, I'm gonna go back through that first 11 that my thread was coming out of, give a nice tight yank here, and that finishes up my back. We're gonna come back and reinforce the back after we're done going around to the front. So I'm not gonna worry about it too, too much here, having that second strand. If you wanna finish off the back, you can add a second strand or a second pass of thread through all of the beads that you just added, as well as those 11s you are sewing through. I'm gonna sew down through the 15s that are directly after the 11 I'm coming out of. When I get there, I'm gonna sew down through the six 11s in the green color that sit right after there. So we're sewing right down along that kind of planetary ring. And then we're gonna sew up through the next set of four beads coming out the 11 that sits on the same set of six 11 O's. We're gonna now catch to the front of the pendant and what you wanna do also is make sure kind of that stop bead gets out of the way. Because we're gonna to be towards the front, you can pull that towards the back, which we'll eventually use to tie off the extra thread. I don't want it coming basically out in between my planet and my ring. From here, same deal. We're gonna connect and bring to the front now all of these little wing sections that are just kind of hanging out left. We're gonna do nine times, and as we flip to the front here, you can see, especially with these lighter colors, we change up the count. The count is gonna be two 15s, one 11, two 15s. I'm gonna do the first couple before I even worry about putting my planet into place. So again, it's two 15s that go on the needle, one 11, and then two 15s. Whichever way your thread is coming out of, that's the way that you're gonna start sewing and I'm gonna start connecting on to that other set of stitches of that wing that I went along when I did my nine sets. Two 15s, one 11, two 15s, onto the next green 11 OC bead in the row. You can see then that nestling starting to happen and that nice arching effect. As you continue around your circle, it'll happen more and more. And then as we get to say the seventh pass or so, I'll get ready to drop my planet in place. We'll reinforce them right along um, this inner edge, going back through all our seed beads to really hold that planet in. So it's time to get that last set of seed beads in place. And I'm going to pick up planet Earth and slide it into its cosmic setting. Go ahead then and pull my threads a little tighter. And you can see that nestling just sits right in there. So play around with it a little bit, get those Toho seed beads to cooperate and finish up that little casing. Now for the netting, I always like to go back and reinforce here. What I was saying is I'm going back through that 11 O that my thread was originally coming out of, and then I'm gonna sew back through and give a nice tight yank 
on all of these seed beads that sit in that nice centered round. Going in then, circling all the way around. And then here's also where I said that I would reinforce the back. After I go around the front, reinforcing, sewing back through all of these seed beads that I just added, as well as the 11 O's that we were sewing through on that netting. I am going to flip over to the back, going down along one of the sets here along the side of the 15s, and then going to the back outer ring, and then flipping to the actual back. It's always a good idea when you are bezel setting, whether or not you're doing peyote stitch or a netting like this, that you are going to reinforce wherever is the innermost circle in both the front as well as the back because you do not want to lose your cabochon out of your setting. So again, reinforcing, kind of going through this center section, getting back almost to the start there. And then once I'm back through my starting spot, right there, give a nice little tight yank on that chain, go down then through four 15s that sit directly after that, While I'm here and I'm through those four 15s, I'm also gonna go out to that outer lip where I have my starter thread, bring my thread and needle out there, take off that starter bead, tie these two threads together, and then trim down that starter thread. The nice thing is I'm using green seed beads and I have green thread and you will never see the starter thread. So I'm gonna go in here, trim that down. If you want to, you can put a needle on it and kind of sew it to the back to get it out of the way. And now what I'm gonna do is continue around this circle here and get to that back. Once you're to the back again, just reinforce right around that row, knotting off the thread that you have left and continuing on then with this thread and needle getting in and finishing all of your planets. So once you have a bunch of your planets wrapped, and you can really use any size for this, you just need to kind of figure out your count. I have a whole bunch of my different planets wrapped and I'm gonna to start to join them together. Now you can join them together kind of any number of ways, any bead combination, I want them to be fairly close together. So I'm using the Potomac Crystal Cylinders here, and I am using a basically a right angle stitch to join them in different places. Now, if you are a very, very um, asymmetrical person, you can kind of go to town and just kind of attach them wherever you want, adding them all in and then connecting kind of that area on the sides to be a bib necklace style. Or if you need it to be, you can actually connect them in a nice kind of orderly fashion, putting planets and kind of solar systems in order. It's kind of up to you. I'm going to make mine very asymmetrical. So I'm going to kind of have them come out at all different angles along the piece, just making sure that I have a nice grouping of them before I attach to my necklace formation. Now to attach the actual piece here, I have a piece of thread that is still connected to the actual piece that I've already done. And what I'm going to do is go along the outer edge, so those 11 OC beads. And I should mention that I did do this with some Miyuki seed beads, and the 54 count needed to be increased to 56 for that. Also, when you're doing um, some of the mat or the ones that are tumbled in the Toho, it does get a little bit tight with that 54 count. So if you have a bigger count or um, a more substantial count, you wanna do about 56 if you decide to do the Mayuki seed beads. Now where to stick those extra six little beads in? You can kind of sneak them in wherever you want along the project and still use the exact same count of the seed beads along the side, the back, and the front. So here I have another place where I want to do a connection, and I'm going to connect this orange one here, and then I'll connect it to my blue one down at the bottom. To do so, I have a 15-0, and then one of my cylinder beads, and then another one of my 15-0 seed beads. Coming out of these 11-0 seed beads, I'm going to go back four beads. And just like we've kind of been doing, making our little wings as we go along, I'm gonna go back through four of those 11 OC beads circling around the side here of the project. 
And you want to make sure that you have a size 12 needle on for this. If you need to, you can kind of backtrack if it goes through and doesn't want to come out right after those four. And kind of sneak this out here. And as that size 12 needle comes out, I'm gonna pull it out here. If you need to, again, just have a little bit of pliers on hand. You can also switch thread and use some Kago for the connections, up to you. But that four seed beads is gonna hold really, really nicely for that cylinder with the 15 O's on each side. Go back through the 15 O, through the cylinder, and out. Here's where we're gonna connect it to another one of our pieces here. Now you have to kind of figure out where you want it to connect and how you want it to sit. Am I gonna connect it there? Am I gonna connect it in those two sides? I wanna connect this for a triangle. So I'm gonna add another one of my 15s, pick somewhere on here and sew through again four of those beads. If possible, you wanna make sure that it's not near one of the knots. If you have an area where it's not coming through really, really nicely, go ahead and just try another area and bring it out through the beads. Now again, I want four and it came out through five, so I'm gonna backtrack one of the beads and just sew back out there. Went through four of the beads, I'm gonna lay it down so I know exactly where it's kind of sitting along my pendant. Add another 15 out and go back through the cylinder. At any time if you need to, you can also cut off the thread, tie it off to the back of your project, and then start a new piece of thread for a new connection. I'm gonna go back through the 15, I like when it's connected more than one spot, and then around the 11 O's till I get to the bottom section and I'm ready to connect to my next planet. So I really like to do this as kind of a continuous piece of thread so that way it's a little bit more secure. But if you need to add thread at different points, you can do so. You'll start to see kind of where they're connecting and naturally find places to join them, especially if you're doing a random cluster. If you are doing a nice set bib design, then go ahead and kind of map out how you are connecting them. Count and make sure you have enough of the different areas in that sections of nine to connect in the exact same places to get that symmetry. Again, I'm going to go the whole way over to here and connect so I have kind of the start of a triangle. Another thing you might wanna do while you are connecting, and here I have those three connected in that nice triangular formation, is you can actually kind of skip to the back of the piece, which will sometimes make it faster for you to get to a side to connect. So if I switch kind of here to the back, I can go down through the back here, through the side, basically reinforcing and taking your thread back through the design. So you can pop out along the side and add in another one of your links. So you're just gonna continue again, if you wanna draw it out, you can kind of uh, trace the cabochons and have an idea exactly where you're going to connect them. Or you can kind of do like me and just do a nice free form. When you do end the thread, you wanna make sure that you do a half hitch knot. You can kind of end it towards the back of the project, take your thread burner, glue it down. And then along the sides, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, um, I'm gonna add a wire guard along the sides of my little bib creation so that way I can attach it to some cord in order to wear. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and add another one of my planets on here and get to add planet Earth on here in that same right angle we fashioned and I'm gonna keep going, making it a fun freeform bib as I add in all of my planets. So I've gone in and I've added my wire guard to one side of kind of this free form necklace. And if I want to, I can add more of the planets in. I ended up with seven of the planets uh, to my actual free form planet necklace here. And by the time I put the um, actual cording along the back and add the cord, it will kind of give it a whole nother look. I'll also show it on me so you can see and kind of appreciate the asymmetrical design on it. I did have a spot, two spots where I decided to add a star bead. We have these really cute Zamic stars and I just sewed in going from two of the beads up through the beads and basically doing the same sort of connection but adding the star in the middle. And I did that in two spots and also up here near this wire guard. On the turquoise bead, I'm not going to do the star because again, I want to do that asymmetrical. There's already one hanging out here. And I need to start with a new piece of thread. So I thought this was a good opportunity to kind of show you how I'm going to do this to actually add my, um, add my clasp here. So I'm gonna start actually towards the middle of the design and go ahead in and add a new piece of thread. 
I'm gonna hold on to that little piece of thread there because I will actually tie onto that after I add my wire guard. I'm going to come back through the design here, kind of change direction of my thread and come out along the side where I want the wire guard. So I'm gonna go up through the 15s from that grouping of nine beads. And it's just a repeat. You can do the entire necklace if you want with 25 millimeter cabs. You can do three cabs, you can do one cab and really make this design your own. I'm gonna sew through with this size 12 needle, which you can see has been, uh, I feel like I should give it a trophy for the amount of uh, abuse that it has taken from me here. And I'm gonna push that out after about four beads or so. I have some of the 11 O's in that Toho Navy matte color that I did the One Planet in. And I'm using that to connect because I like the look of that. I'm gonna add a Toho Navy in that 11 O up through the wire guard or the wire connector. And you can also do this on every single planet as you are making them. So you could link them with jump rings too. There's a whole nother idea. Come down through the wire guard on the other side Add another one of your 11 O seed beads. And anytime you add a wire guard or clasp, you wanna reinforce that section of the clasp. So I'm gonna hold it up here kind of. Make sure it's sitting exactly where I want it to along the project and that my kind of bib necklace here is gonna sit exactly where I want it to. Coming over, I'm gonna come down about two beads and sew back into those two beads and then kind of wiggle my needle out. that's gonna get my wire guard right along the side here. Again, I'll take the needle back through and reinforce that. And then I'm gonna bring the needle back down to this starter thread. And once I have the needle back down to the starter thread, then I am going to go in and cut off, uh, tie the two threads together and then burn off the extra thread end with the thread burner. From here, I will add my cord to both sides and then I'll show you how it lays on the actual piece so you can kind of appreciate that asymmetrical design. Again, the whole idea of this and the design of this, and you can see kind of the back versus the front is gonna be really to make it your own. We have so many options when it comes to that 25 millimeter cab size. You can also make this a different size and really kind of enjoy the design and the idea of changing up how you use and how you design and kind of what pieces you make out of those 25 millimeter cabs. Thanks so much for joining me in this journey of the Solar Star Necklace. Remember, you can do tons of different designs, have fun with any 25 millimeter cab that you want and make it your own, be it planets, musical notes, or even some things like cats and Paris and all kinds of fun cabs. So make sure to check out our selection at potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eu. Remember, you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel to get regular updates when we go live, have new products for you to check out as well as new tutorials. Also, if you haven't checked us out yet, you can check it out on Twitch TV and join us in the design process, in the making, and kind of interact with a great beading community. Thanks so much for joining me and have fun making your own Solar Star version of this necklace.